on EA Sports. And we'll get a look at Joe Burrow. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Bengals and the Oilers, and it's coming up next. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paycor Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. Today, Week 17 is upon us, and we've got a good one in store here between the Houston Oilers taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. On the other side of the field for our visitors here, they're in a real groove of late. Winners. Second drive of the game, first for this offense, and they have it in a tough spot, backed up toward their own goal line. the five to the six yard line Robert Spillane the linebacker there on the tackle here's a second and five first carry for Kenneth Gainwell now he's loose at the 40 now look out he's to the 20 touchdown Houston Kenneth Gainwell So they just got the ball off the interception. Now can this offense take advantage? Great field position, first and 10 in the red zone. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine me a touchdown. Nicole Hardman, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Oilers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And no matter how it comes about, when you get good field position, you have to make the defense pay. Short fields usually make for good offense. looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. On third down, Burrow. Being chased out left. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. Partner, there's a downside to everything in the danger of man coverage is. This defense backed up now as they're looking at a first and goal just inside the 10. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Third and goal, Burrow staying on his feet. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Call it a big loss of 10 there. And it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. And that's the kind of stand all defenses are seeking. Third and goal, backs against the wall, and they get a monster sack, and now they're going to force them into a field goal. For them, that's a win. Out is Carlson now for the Raider field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Oh, they get 
to the football. It's blocked. Got to say, Charles, a little surprising to have a kick this short blocked. Usually that happens on the longer ones, but great job by the special teams to kind of sift through there and get a hand on it. Yeah, you've seen a lot of football over time, partner, and you're right about it. Typically, the longer field goals start lower because they have so much more ground to cover. To They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Houston. Marquise Brown, 74 yards. And the Oilers take the block field goal and convert it into six points. This offense has been clicking pretty well here in the first half. They've got the sizable margin. Now can they add to it here with a final drive in the second quarter? No, oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Bengals are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week, and he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. The Bengals' offense returns to the field. They'll have good field position at midfield following the turnover as they start with the first down. Just above one minute remaining here in the second quarter. This offense looking to get down at least into field goal range, but they're starting on their own side of the field. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. Back to throw now on first down. Open man downfield is Hardman. He's got it. Touchdown! Miko Hardman with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Oilers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it, solid, because you don't get... We drop you into the action here, first half this offense. They've been rolling. They're looking for more, though. And they've got the ball in the red zone. stages of this season everybody's getting antsy so antsy that we're going to skip the halftime and get ready for the third quarter welcome back charles and i settled into the booth ready for quarter number three both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three from a yard or two deep here comes a return and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, leading out this offense. Now in a pretty difficult situation is this defense up to the task. Ball in the red zone, second and five. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. Touchdown! Hollywood, Marquise Brown. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Oilers are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like...
Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. There's McCall Hardman as he brings this offense onto the field yet again. When you're in a zone like he is, what's the conversation like on the side? They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going deep for Brown. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Houston. Marquise Brown, 60 yards. And the Oilers are closing in on a ninth victory on the year as they extend their lead. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly, and he the knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. Point after, right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull the rabbit out of their hat. Here we go. Now Burrow on first down. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. Here we go, here we go. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. Kudos for the defense for me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. And now defensively they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. The Bengals bring out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Let's take it inside his own 40. A great return there, bobbing and weaving his way for 31 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown leading out this offense. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now, they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him, bring him over to our team so we don't have to cover him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that mid game. He's got a man complete. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance 
to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. Extra point right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of here points go, on go. this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way to bring things up because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points and there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team 11, 11, that's playing 11, 11, at an elite 11. level. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Steps away to his left. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. And after that last play, we've got an injured man, and it's a big one. Joe Burrow shaken up. And you hope this is nothing serious, but not what you want to see this late in the season. The medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. They'll look to set up his blockers. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, leading out this offense. And I think we both agreed he could have a really good game with this matchup, but over 200 yards now. I don't think we saw it as that good. And I think what really makes it special is when games like this are occurring, it's not just getting locked in and in the zone and on a roll. This is caught inside the 15. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, Charles, they had the comfortable lead, and now it's even more comfortable. Another score here in the fourth quarter to grow that lead. But I think your initial reaction is surprised when you see a team piling it on this late in the blowout. But there are plenty of coaches who also think that if you pull up completely, and stop trying to play the game, it shows disrespect to their opponent. So they don't want to embarrass them. They continue to let their players go for it. Now the extra point try forthcoming. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Bengals set to take over. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Kingsley Enenbari picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Talking about vocabulary isn't that great, but to me, there's only one word that fits this front seven today, and that's dominant. Four and five sacks is already rare in one game. Getting to more than six in one contest while winning by this many points, an absolutely astounding effort by every player involved. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. He'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to